Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Ken's Tech. Now in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the custom ROM that I have on my Samsung device, which is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. And that's on, that custom ROM is Slim Cat. Now, if you guys know about this device, it doesn't it doesn't upgrade past 4.2. So that means that this device will probably never get 4.4 KitKat. So in order for me to keep up to date with the latest, I install a custom ROM. And out of all the custom ROMs I've used so far, I decided to go with SlimCat. Now in SlimCat, it's very uh, a distinct and unique ROM. And I really like it because if you if you know some Samsung devices, you know that Samsung has a lot of bloatware on their on their devices and with touch threads, touch threads makes it a little harder for you to actually have a mode apps that you would like. Because for me, I'm a person that likes to install a lot of apps and with touch threads, it's kind of bone you don't could leave you that limited amount of memory to choose from when you, when you first open the device out of the box. So this device, the Tab 2, comes with 8 gigs internal memory and with textures and Samsung OS installed on it, you probably only get like about 3 gigs and that goes down really quickly when you think about all the bloatware that is there that is with it. So in terms of installing all apps, I won't even have a half of these apps that I have right now if I had textures on. So that's why I choose SlimCat as I mentioned before. So I'm going to be going through certain features. Um, first of these features is the Real Dark Slim. Now the Real Dark Slim is actually the main focus of this. That very distinct this ROM from the rest of ROMs. Now if you if you go in settings, you can go in settings and you can just simply activate the toggle here, and you see everything just turned dark. And you might say, okay, that's just settings that turned dark. But if you go into apps like email. If I go into my email here, you see that my email looks different and this is dark than how it is how it, how it was in that plain white view that we normally use for daytime look. So it's very easy and as you guys as you guys said, you know it's easy to use and I I, I really like the toggle. Also you might you might check out the Google Play Store. Now the Google Play Store, you guys that have Android devices will know how it looks. Now we'll compare that to how it how it was to how it looks now, and you see everything here is dark, and it looks really nice. So I didn't get a chance to show you guys how it looked before I activated this toggle. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go back into settings here quick. And I'm gonna take off that toggle. Okay, so everything turns back light now. I'm going to go into email and see how bright it looks. It's like for daytime use, how how bright this looks in terms of how the regular. Sometimes I might prefer this look, but me, I like the dark look. I tend to save battery life if you actually think about it, because you're not using that much power in terms of having to have it all bright like how the Play Store is right now. To have it all bright, so I rather go into the real dark slim. And the apps look very nice and very sleek, and as as it gets its name, the real dark slim. So it's very a very unique feature, guys, and you could check it out. And stuff. So then my next feature that I'm going to be looking at is the slim pie. Now you got a lot of you guys when we saw this before from other custom ROMs how the slim pie works, but I'm going I'm going to show you guys how it works. So we're basically going to slim pie, I'm going to activate it. And then I'm going to go back to my navigation bar and I'm going to disable my navigation bar. So you see the bar from the bottom is gone and you're like, okay, well, how am I going to control my device? But the slim pie works like that. You just drag it from the bottom of the screen and you see here you can choose the same um, tabs. You can choose back and what's not. So it's very unique and and, spe and it saves a lot of time. It, it also saves screen real estate. So instead of, instead of having that navigation, permanent navigation bar at the bottom, you see you have more screen now for the for, for things like watching movies and stuff and having screen at uh, a tab at the bottom and tab at the top too which is the pull down tab so we we insert it saves time and it's very convenient I can so you can set it to different directions from the side you can set it from the bottom my left from the bottom so you can easy hit you can hit home you could go back go into also what I'm going to show you guys which you just probably see already is slim recents. Now is this look different from any any ROM any ROM will have a different a different recent tab, but this one here is called Slim Recents, and you can easily, as I was doing before, jump in and out of features. You can easily go 
back and forth between multi it makes it takes multitasking to another level so I'm really I really really like that feature in this here I'm sure you guys can tell so if you guys really like this this feature you can go and check it out now there's a bunch of features you could you could change you could change stuff like the um, battery percentage you see how how many batteries percentage there with the dots around it and the cut these the percentage in the middle so you could change stuff like that you can add different colors to it different speeds um the different text color how it looks if it appears there or no you can set changes to the notification qs draw you can set all sorts of changes it's very customizable guys not, maybe not as customizable as, as other roms um no sandra mod is one of them that's very customizable but this is also very customizable. What I like about this is also Slim Center. Now Slim Center will also give you updates when the next when the next official comes out. It doesn't give you updates about oh, about the next um the next weekly, but it gives you updates about official. So when when the official came, it will give a notification say okay, we have an update for Slim Cat. We want to update it and all this. So it is Slim Center is a very a very cool. Um, to be able to keep up the up to date with the warrant with the ROM. I'm not sure many ROMs have that. You have to go and check that site and see if the, the weekly O or what's not. So that's a very good way to keep up to date. So you can see right here if I go about tablet A, I'm running 4.4.2, which is um, based off of um, KitKat. And it works all the same way. You guys can see it works all the same way just as KitKat would work. And see Android 4.4.2, it works all the same way. So it's not a case where you're losing any features, especially if you're, you have a device that, ha that is not going to be upgraded to that, that ROM. It's easy for you to actually put all one of these ROMs and actually get experience. And the launcher that I'm using with SlimCat is actually Google Now Launcher. But I have Google Now dis disabled because it's not, I'm not going to be able to use a mic and this um, screen recorder program at the same time. So that's why I have Google, uh, Google Now disabled. But you can easily swipe from from the left to the right and open Google now and see widgets and everything here it's very easy to accessible it runs fluently if I can run probably games rarely with it is it has no lag at all because you have more more a bit more room to do other things um, this tab 2 comes with a gig a 1 gigahertz dual core processor which is it's not really that good but take a, if you actually think about it it actually what well, you won't be able to to run games that how you would expect to uh, constantly need to be going after RAM. So I mean you could use apps like Clean Master and stuff like that to help you reduce your RAM usage when you're going into gaming and what's not. See if I go into like Dead Trigger and show you guys how it actually works. If I go into Quick Gaming Dead Trigger, I'll show you guys how it actually performs. Okay, no, I'm not going to hit the Dead Trigger. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Alright, so I'm back in the Sorry, guys. The, the trigger was, um, as you saw, um, rotating the opposite way. So that's not going to work. But I can trust me, guys. It really, really, really works well. And different apps and stuff, stuff like YouTube and stuff, really loads. Even YouTube has. I forgot to mention that it did the activation of the dark slim as well. So YouTube also looks really well when you activate it. So I mean guys you go and check out this ROM. I'll leave the link in this in the description about the ROM where to download it. You can find out the full features. And really and truly this is the 4.4.2 build 5 official. So the they think there have been two more weekly since this build release. But I haven't updated to them, but I will leave a link in the description telling you guys how to how if you want to download it for your device, if your device is supported, all that is on the site. So you guys can go and check that out. So I will my it's kinda of lagging right now because um I'm recording the video, but you see right here, YouTube has loaded partially and is it looks like right, it's dark, it looks really awesome. I show you guys my saying, you know, yeah, you want to try this out, go ahead, it's free. You just maybe leave a leave a donation for the developers if you can. But apart from that, this is fairly a nice ROM to have. So thank you guys for watching the video. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment in below about what is your favorite ROM. And let's start our discussion. So thank you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.